Our vision to see cancer patients and their families discover their pathway to healing and to change the way that cancer is thought of and treated. This event promises to be a time of inspiration, information, and celebration as you hear the latest regarding the mistletoe clinical trial with Johns Hopkins University School of Medicine, an update on the Believe Big Institute of Health project, inspiring stories from cancer patients on the impact that Believe Big is, is having on their cancer journey, a special performance from singers and songwriters, Carrie Job and Cody Carnes, and special messages from three-time Super Bowl champion, Matt Stover, and best-selling author and top leadership speaker, John Gordon. With everything going on in the world, they wanted to encourage you and the patients that are currently battling cancer to believe big. So here's the message from John and his wife, Catherine. Hey, this is John Gordon. And this is Catherine Gordon. We just want to tell you how much we love Believe Big and what they're doing to help others. We love the way you counsel, support, and mentor people going through cancer. You provide an incredible service that is needed in this world. So Believe Big. We, we believe, believe in you. you. Well, we are so thankful for John and Catherine. They've been great friends for many, many years. And our team is on the front lines helping those that are facing, fighting, and overcoming cancer. And the opportunities to help are enormous and they're growing. You'll notice that we are debuting a text to donate feature that makes giving your support to Believe Big's mission as easy as sending a text. At any point in the evening, simply text BELIEVE to 80888. And for those of you who aren't as tech savvy, not to worry. I'll walk you through this process toward the end of the program and show you just how easy it is. We also have a very cool event thermometer set up on this page for you to view in real time the progress we're making towards our $250,000 fundraising goal. We want to begin the event by expressing our admiration and enormous appreciation to our 2020 presenting partner, the Gary L. Zipper Charitable Giving Fund along with all our other partners whose logos are listed on this page for coming alongside Believe Big this year. Gary's been a supporter, a volunteer, and a friend for so many years, and he, like so many of you, have given us the resources we've needed to literally save lives. For that, we say thank you. Well, our theme this year is Become the Change. One of the most famous quotes that captures this idea is from Gandhi, who said this, you must become the change you wish to see in the world. Whatever change you'd like to affect in our society has to begin with you. The best leaders in the world have ever known are the reformers who were accountable and responsible for their own change. One of the greatest illustrations of true transformation can be seen in God's creation as well. I'm not really that fascinated, frankly, with butterflies. I know you are. But I'm amazed at how God makes one and the lessons we can learn from its journey from a simple ground-bound leaf-munching caterpillar into a carried-by-the-wind butterfly. Frederick Douglass once said, there's no progress without great struggle. And he knew a little something about struggle and freedom. And there's no breakthrough without getting outside of our comfort zones. Each one of us is held captive by or held back from experiencing our best life by some barrier, some obstacle or limitation. Just as the caterpillar is held captive by the cocoon, we're all held captive by something that is preventing us from experiencing our greatest potential or purpose or calling or healing. We're held back by something, but I'm encouraged by the transformation of the caterpillar into the beauty of the butterfly. The struggle inside the cocoon probably felt constricting and uncomfortable. It probably felt like it was taking forever. Many of us in this room tonight are in that same kind of struggle. It may be your own struggle against cancer. It may be a struggle in a relationship that means a lot to you. It may be with finances or physical health or just plain old stress. To all of you, I say this, the struggle is worth it. The struggle is what God will use to transform you more and more into the person you're made to be. We must begin to see the struggle as the very pathway that we must take on our way to freedom and healing and victory. When you change the way you see things, the things you see change. So tonight, no matter what you're going through, take hold of the struggle and fight for your freedom and your healing. At Believe Big, we enter the struggle with you. We're in the fight together. 
and we will help you break free and fly. We are truly in this fight together with so much that's going on right now. I'd really like for us to open up in prayer. I do realize that many of our supporters and donors and guests watching are from a variety of different faiths and we welcome you. But as is our tradition, I would love for Jimmy to just start the evening off with a blessing. So Jimmy. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, we're thankful for the opportunities to communicate with our team, faithful supporters, patients, families, and medical professionals in communities all around the world through this vehicle of technology. We pray that this evening will be an encouragement and inspiration to all who are with us. And we pray that you would give us hope, help, and healing in the middle of both our worldwide challenge and personal storms. We know that you're bigger than our challenges and you are present with us in the middle of every crisis. Help us to put our trust in you and enjoy the peace that only you can give. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. Thank you. We are so excited to share with you tonight how the hand of God has moved through Believe Big and in the lives of the patients we help each day due to your prayers, time, and financial support. You really make it possible for us to invest in their lives, and we thank you. So, Ivelisse, for those uh, that aren't as familiar with your story, why don't you share a bit of, of what you went through on your cancer journey? Sure. In the fall of 2008, I was diagnosed with stage 4 colon cancer. I was actually the same age and diagnosed with the same type of cancer that took my father's life, my grandmother's life, and half of her siblings. I was in complete shock as I had been diligent about following my doctor's orders of getting a colonoscopy every five years. I knew the symptoms to look out for, and yet I didn't experience one of them. I'm part of the 3% of colon cancers called Lynch syndrome, where cancer can grow and metastasize very rapidly, often cancerous and dangerous in as little as two years versus the typical 10 years. During this time, we came to see the importance of having a team of doctors, both conventional and complementary, which would work together to heal the whole person. And discovering that the survivorship of stage four colon cancer with metastasis to the liver was less than 8%, I decided to forego chemotherapy and radiation as it wouldn't have increased my chances of survival. So share with everyone what you did on the conventional side and then on the complementary side as well. Sure, sure. On the conventional side, I had incredible surgeons who removed the cancer from my colon and liver and I had a great oncologist who was willing to monitor me with scans and blood work, even though I was not going to follow his standard protocol of chemotherapy and radiation. Uh, I love these words that he recently shared. Um, he said, the story with Ivelisse is different because I had a patient who had metastatic colon cancer. That's a lethal diagnosis. And on top of that, she had a strong family history. One would think that she would have taken the traditional and most, most aggressive approach. Patients come to see me because I'm known to be a very aggressive oncologist. I treat with very aggressive chemotherapy. But here I had a patient saying that she did not want to do chemotherapy. She wanted to do something different. That is what turned the tables. It took the relationship from a physician teaching a patient to the patient teaching me. Over the last several years, we have done her follow-up and probably for reasons we don't fully know, probably related to the mistletoe, she is cancer free today. Mm, that's good news. <laughs> and I wish there were just more oncologists and physicians like Dr. Diaz who are humble enough to work with their patients when considering a patient's desire for an integrative approach. Um, and then on the complementary side, Dr. Hindenburger changed my internal environment to fight any remaining cancers after the surgeries with a plant-based diet, homeopathy, supplements, and mistletoe injections. I still remember the day when we met him in the office for the first time and he gave us a handout on mistletoe and the studies. And he explained that mistletoe had been shown to have a chemotherapeutic substance called viscotoxin. <laughs> which contains lectins that stimulate the immune system, prevents new blood vessel formation in cancers, and supports cancer cell death. And third, furthermore, he shared that mistletoe had endorphin-like substances that would make me feel better, reduce pain, give me more energy, and a better outlook on life. And so I felt like I had everything to gain and nothing to lose. 
And that day in his office, I had my first injection of mistletoe that would really change the trajectory of my life. Since my liver surgery in December of 2008, there has been no visible cancer present again in my body. And by God's grace, I won my battle with cancer and remain cancer free today. Yeah, it's a miracle for sure. And you know, every day I'm grateful for, for that healing and for what God did in your life. And, and we also realized that uh, Ivelisse's story could have turned out differently, and for so many it does. And I remember spending weeks examining scripture passages as a man of faith, dealing with healing, and, and then reading other spiritual books, looking for something that would promise or guarantee healing. But so, since we didn't have a roadmap, I remember searching the interme- internet for just about every possible anti-cancer approach known to man to make sure that we did everything right. But you know what? We realized pretty quickly that there's no guarantee. There's no magic bullet. Every one of us has an expiration date, so to speak. Every life ends at some point, and none of us know when or how. That's why life really does require faith. And we also realized that we could do everything right, and it still might not turn out the way we want it. That was in some ways a hard realization, but it was also freeing. It allowed us to release the pressure and trust God again that he was good, and that he would never leave us in the midst of this trial. So that's where we found hope. We would trust God no matter how it turned out. We believed that God was bigger than this challenge and that nothing was impossible for God, even with what looked like insurmountable odds. Yeah, I remember that our family mantra then became, no matter what, Lord, we trust you. And I love that God doesn't waste our pain and he wants to turn our adversity into victory and our problems into possibilities. And because of what we went through, Believe Big was birthed. And now I get the honor of speaking life into those who are feeling hopeless in their cancer diagnosis and let them know that God can do what others might say is impossible. And I get to work alongside the best staff, volunteers, and board members in helping to change the way that cancer is thought of and treated. Well, Eva you know, one of the things I really love about Believe Big is that we are indeed bridging the gap between conventional and complementary medicine for treating cancer. Tell us how this has been done this past year with Believe Big. Yeah, sure. It's exciting because we're not only linking arms with organizations in the United States, but around the world. In the U.S. specifically, we are part of the planning committee for the Society of Integrative Oncology, their conference. We continue to be a part of the Stand Up to Cancer patient advocate team. We were part of Dr. Kelly Turner's Radical Remission docu-series that aired just two weeks ago and are featured in her new book coming out that's called Radical Hope. Mm -hmm. There's another informative documentary coming out soon called Cancers that we're a part of. And I'm also really excited about a new partnership with Arizona State University. We were selected out of many applications to be a project for their biomedical diagnostics master's degree program. It's a win-win as they have an exciting project to work on and we get master degree students donating hundreds of valuable time. So it's pretty exciting. And internationally, we were a guest speaker at the 19th Physician Congress in Germany. We were on the radio in the United Kingdom with Yes to Life. And we were even asked to be a part of the advisory board of New Breath Hospital in Korea. So really a lot of things happen. It's exciting. (laughs) Well, I know that Believe Big has four key areas of focus, one of them being to educate individuals on a comprehensive approach to cancer prevention and treatment. Share with those watching now just exactly how Believe Big does that. Sure, yeah. So once diagnosed, uh, we provide a first steps resource and key questions to ask oncologists that guides and directs a patient on what to do next and so that they can ask the right questions in making the best decisions for their care. Mm -hmm. Uh, We have been able to donate hundreds of cancer resources books like The Metabolic Approach to Cancer, Radical Remission, 50 Days of Hope to patients all over the country. Uh, This year we have hosted live webinars with experts on topics that have included oncology nutrition, mistletoe, cannabis, Like the live stream tonight, these webinars are allowing us to engage with patients and individuals from all over the world, even Mm. as far as Egypt. (laughs) That's pretty far. (laughs) Yes. Well, I know our second area of focus is to connect. And we connect with patients, and we connect them to physicians trained in mistletoe and nutrition therapy. 
and we give them the resources necessary uh, to help them advocate for their health. Share with us why it's so important and how we do that. Sure. Yeah, this vital part of care is not covered by insurance. <clears throat> and we are so thankful as an organization that is entirely run by donations that we can help to release the financial burden patients experience by providing wellness grants. In 2019, Believe Big gave out 225 grants that totaled almost $80,000. Wow. And the need has already increased again this year. And we were so grateful that when we ran out of funds, donors who are watching us tonight stepped up and gave us the additional funding we needed to last us through the end of December. Every patient that requested aid received it. And our list of physicians trained in mistletoe and nutrition therapy continues to grow thanks to the efforts of Dr. Winters, Dr. Hindenburger, and Dr. Johnson, who are doing an annual educational training for medical professionals. And this past June, Believe Big supported their efforts, and over 80 physicians from all over the country were trained. Mm. And I'm also very grateful for our patient advocates that help answer hundreds of calls and emails we receive asking for help. They have been fantastic in directing patients to the resources they need for their care. Right now, they are working remotely so that patients can continue to get the help they need. Thanks to those watching tonight, all of this is provided free to a patient. And I don't want you just to take it from me. There are some patients that wanted to share with you personally how your donations have helped them. So watch this short thank you video from them. Thanks for supporting Believe Big so that they can continue to provide resources for people who are fighting cancer like John. Thank you. Thank you so much for helping me beat cancer. From two cancer survivors that are currently on mistletoe therapy, we would like to thank you for your support and generosity. Thank you so much for your donations to the Believe Big Foundation. Your generosity has helped so many in their cancer healing journey. Thank you. Hey, this is drummer Dave up in Taos. Just want to give props out to all volunteers and contributors to Believe Big. I'm in remission. I wish blessings from Creator to all of you. Thank you so very much. Thank you for all the donations that you made to Believe Big. Because of you, I was able to afford mistletoe IV infusions that I wouldn't have been able to afford otherwise. And because of those infusions, I feel great. So thank you. Thank you to all our Believe Big supporters. You make a difference in the lives of many people, patients, and family members. Thank you. Thank you donors for your support, your generosity as a godsend, and life-saving. Because of donors like you, I was able to receive access to nutritional counseling and mistletoe, which 100% aided me in my treatment plan and my recovery to healing from cancer. We are so grateful for the funding made possible through Believe Big. It made all the difference for us. Thank you so much, and may God pour out his blessing upon you. Well, even least I love seeing videos like that from people whose lives have been positively impacted by Believe Big. And I remember many times you mentioning that the fear and anxiety was oftentimes harder to beat than the cancer. Tell us a little bit about that. Yeah. The enemy tried to have a field day at every corner by attacking me mentally. I still remember standing in front of the mirror one night trying to get ready for bed and uh, the enemy whispered as I was putting on my night cream, why are you bothering? You aren't going to make it through this year. You aren't going to see your kids graduate or get married. Your dad didn't make it. Why do you think you will? I remember tears would begin to fall, discouragement would rise, and I know that you could feel the internal torment that was going through. And I'm so thankful that you stopped and created the I will have no fear prayer for me that is compiled of our favorite scripture verses. And I kept that prayer card with me at all times because even after being Christian for over 22 years, on some days, I couldn't even find the words to pray. I would just pull it out. I would read it out loud, sometimes several times a day, because I knew that if Jesus used scriptures to resist the devil, I wasn't going to be naive to think that I could be successful in my cancer battle without it. And the fear, it always relented. And I was able to walk as a victor rather than a victim, no matter how my story was going to end. Yeah, I still remember those those moments, and there were a lot of them. 
But the encouragement from Scripture was a big deal for us. And I know it's one of the reasons why I believe Big's third area of focus is so important to both of us and to us as an organization. How does Believe Big provide spiritual support and encouragement to patients and their families? Yeah. This is done through our Believe Mugs program, Believe Big Apparel, host baskets that we fill with tons of activities and things for individuals who had lost a loved one to mm. cancer in the past year. We also have an online prayer support. Our staff, volunteers, including my mom, pray and answer every single prayer request that comes in from patients and their families. Well, I remember the first Believe Mugs that we delivered, and I remember looking around the room and seeing faces filled with fear and anxiety, so much of what we had experienced, and so many of them were already exhausted by their ordeal. It was a depressing place, to be honest, but we knew that we could bring encouragement and light into that dark place. So when God gave you that Believe Big mug idea, it began with friends and family painting, and you and I handing them out in those waiting rooms that we spent so much time in. We literally witnessed the energy in that waiting room change as tears flowed and faces brightened and even some laughter started to poke through. It became a totally different environment. Yeah, I believe we handed about 100 in that first year. Mm -hmm. And this past year, because of the help of individuals around the country who mm -hmm. hosted a Believe Mug painting or visited one of our pottery store partners, we were able to encourage over 1,719 patients. And thanks to the generous donations of our supporters and those mm -hmm. of our corporate pa partners, we were able to provide materials for the children at Johns Hopkins Cancer Unit and Horizon Day Camp to paint and receive a Believe mug during their treatments. You should see the smiles and the giggles. <laughs> if you know of someone who is currently battling, contact our office at support at believebig.org or if you can help us with the shipping costs, you can order through our online store anytime. We can ship to any address in the United States. Well, that's truly amazing. And I love that Believe Big's fourth area of focus is to overcome cancer with the development of the Believe Big Institute of Health and by supporting the ongoing phases of the mistletoe clinical trial in collaboration with Johns Hopkins University School of Medicine. But before Dr. Paller shares, I'm sure that everyone watching tonight is interested in learning more about the BBIH. <laughs> Share a little bit. Yes, our Institute of Health founders had a very productive year. The Believe Big Institute of Health is a culmination of 28 years of searching worldwide for innovative oncology assessment and treatment and to upgrade and personalize the standard of care while enhancing patient outcomes. Our concept and vision do not exist anywhere in the world. Many have pieces of the puzzle, but not the whole picture. Tell us a little bit about how we're different. Well, though integrative oncology programs do exist in academic institutions around the country, they fall short of offering the truly integrative and individualized approach that can change cancer outcomes. The World Health Organization forecasts a doubling of cancer rates by 2030, and the American Cancer Society reports recurrence happens 70% of the time. Mm -hmm. So clearly, we are not approaching this problem appropriately or successfully. We aim to change that standard of care for cancer by moving away from the trial and error approach inherent in set protocols. So before any individual undergoes treatment, we assess their complete biomedical workup, epigenetic blueprint, family history, lifestyle influences, and things that are driving their disease process. Our unique ability to translate this information takes the guesswork out of treatment and guide patients to use the right medications and interventions and for them to use at the right time throughout their treatment. The data and the analytics from our platform will provide scientific evidence to inform cancer treatment for practitioners and patients well beyond our walls. And all of this will take place on a beautiful campus that aims to restore health in a nature-dense, well-based wellness-based, deeply nourishing environment mm. where we will put health back into healthcare and model a lifestyle conducive to restoring the mind, body, and spirit back into balance amidst the utter chaos of cancer. And it will be done via a systems-based approach where research is at the forefront of this translational medicine model. Mm. It is our hope and our expectation to be the thought leaders and game changers in the world of oncology. We envision a world where cancer is no longer feared and all can receive personalized guidance for prevention, which is the best cure. 
We know it seems like a large vision, but we believe that nothing is impossible when God plants a vision to accomplish his purposes. As Nate Nelson Mandela shared, it always seems impossible until it's done. That's right. So where is this facility going to be? Well, our team found the perfect property in Arizona. Sounds warm. <laughs> we chose Arizona because of the climate, the elevation. It supports healing, year-round farming, the regulatory environment, cancer intervention, the ease of access from the coasts, the cost of the land. And so I wanted to show you just a picture of the land. And if you look closely, you'll notice an incredible aspect. Do you see it? Mistletoe. When our team got out of the car to walk the property, we looked up and there was a mesquite tree filled with mistletoe. Not only that, but the land is covered with many healing plants of the desert like ocotillo, a cactus that has amazing benefits on the lymphatic system, filigree, ephedra, which is excellent for respiratory health to name a few. This property is just the right amount of acreage we need to support all three phases of our building processes and has a hundred years of guaranteed water on the property. Even in Arizona. <laughs> so yes. what do we need to make this happen? Well, the cost to acquire the land, mm -hmm. go through the process to ensure suitability, and phase one of the campus design is only five million. And I believe there is someone watching tonight who has those resources to help us acquire the land. And to you, we have a unique proposition inspired by a creative practice at some well-known luxury resorts. For the philanthropic person who provides these resources, we will dedicate a parcel of land for you to build an estate home, and you'll have the security of knowing that you will leave a legacy of health to your family for generations to come. Mm. And that's because you and your family will have complete access to all that the Believe Big Institute of Health will have to offer. For you to get a small glimpse into this vision, we created a short video last year that I would love for you guys to see. Imagine a state-of-the-art residential cancer research hospital where hardcore science meets the compassion of nature. One that looks and feels more like a healing sanctuary than a sterile environment. A place where there's a seamless blend of nature and structure flooded with natural light. A place that leverages the best of integrative and conventional medicine. A place that gives patients and their families the clarity and confidence that they've left no stone unturned. Where therapies are personalized only after thorough testing, analysis, and consultation to ensure the safest and most successful pathway to healing. Where the approach to data and research will help cancer patients and practitioners well beyond our walls. This place will supply organic meals grown on its own land and create comfortable gathering places including a cafe and market. Imagine a place where a patient's well-being is transformed. That's not only good for your mind, good for your body, but good for your soul. Imagine the future of cancer treatment and well-being. Imagine the Believe Big Institute of Health. Well, I've got to tell you, I'm ready to go there right now, especially <laughs> after all this cold weather. This is so exciting. And at this time, I'd like to introduce you to the lead investigator for the mistletoe trial, Dr. Channing Pollard. Dr. Pollard is an associate professor of oncology at Johns Hopkins. She's earned her medical degree at Harvard Medical School. And as an investigator, She's focused on translational research and clinical trials of developmental therapeutics in prostate and other solid tumors. Thank you for your support of Believe Big, which has allowed me to investigate mistletoe in the first intravenous clinical trial in the United States. We designed a trial that would measure patient safety, whether mistletoe kills tumor cells, and also whether mistletoe would improve quality of life in our patients. The primary goal of this trial is to test drug safety and to identify the recommended phase two dosing. The secondary goals are to test tumor marker growth as measured with CAT scan imaging and in the blood for specific cancers such as PSA for prostate cancer, CA199 for pancreas cancer, as well as others. We also wanted to explore potential biomarkers to evaluate germline genetic mutations in circulating DNA and immunological markers. Patient eligibility criteria requires that a patient have stage four cancer, 
have received at least one line of prior therapy and have a life expectancy of at least three months. A standard phase one design was used where three patients in the trial are assigned to a dose level in order of study entry until the patient experiences a drug-related toxicity of grade three or higher, whereupon an additional three patients will be enrolled at that dose level. To date, I've consented 18 patients into the trial and I'm expecting a handful more to complete the trial. Before the global COVID-19 pandemic, we were on target to finish as we planned in the next year. The trial may take up to another two years to complete because right now all non-COVID-19 related phase one trials are on hold in the setting of the outbreak. My hope is that once this is all behind us, we can safely resume and complete the trial within months. What I'm most excited about in this trial is to see not only whether we controlled cancer in our patients, but also whether we improve the quality of life. Many patients feel they want to focus on quality of life more than on the toxic side effects of chemotherapy. I had one couple tell me the other day that quality was more important to them than quantity. I hope one day we will be able to say that this drug called mistletoe is safe and may even improve quality of life in our patients. On behalf of myself and my patients, thank you very much for your support. Can you imagine a day when it's covered by insurance and a day when it can be offered as part of the standard of care for cancer treatment? Well, I certainly can. Well, our next guest has been a close friend for over 20 years and a very familiar face for anyone who loves the Baltimore Ravens. Matt Stover was one of the best, most clutch kickers in the NFL for 19 seasons and a three-time Super Bowl champion. I've seen the rings. <laughs> Matt has a great message for each one of us tonight. Enjoy. Hi, I'm Matt Stover. My wife Debbie and I are amazed at all the work being done by Believe Big. There is so much hope and science being created by their efforts. The following patient story is an example of how Believe Big steps in during dark times to not only bring his light, but to provide the resources the patients needed to face, fight, and overcome cancer. Please join me tonight in helping more patients like Terry by texting BELIEVE to 80888. That's BELIEVE to 80888. Hi, my name is Terry Zagorski. I am a registered nurse and I'm married to a loving husband and I'm the mother to four wonderful children. My story begins several years ago when I lost my mom, my dad, and my sister, each to a different type of cancer. In 2014, I followed in the family footsteps when I was also diagnosed with a cancer, an aggressive stage one breast cancer. I opted to do conventional treatment, but because of my strong family history of cancer, I felt the need to do more. So one of my first phone calls was to believe big. I knew the founders because our children attended the same school. So I was familiar with how mistletoe therapy had helped Evelise Page in her cancer journey. Through Believe Big, I was able to connect with a mistletoe doctor and they also referred me to a number of resources which taught me about overcoming cancer with nutrition and lifestyle changes. After a combination of surgery, radiation, and chemo, along with integrative therapies like mistletoe injections and supplements, I became cancer-free for over four years. However, in March of 2019, I was diagnosed with another cancer. Well, several. I had a persistent sore throat that had been unsuccessfully treated with two rounds of antibiotics. After insisting on a biopsy of the growth of my uvula, I received the devastating news that it was a highly malignant small cell cancer. So I had to have surgery to remove part of my soft palate, including my uvula. The good news was that the neck CAT scan showed no spread of the uvula cancer. The bad news is the chest CAT scan revealed a cancerous nodule in my right lung and a PET scan showed cancerous lesions in my liver. The liver biopsies determined the lesions to be stage four metastatic breast cancer. Things were not looking good for me. One month after my throat surgery, I had lung surgery to remove the cancerous nodule and it was stage one primary lung cancer. Two weeks after my lung surgery, I had cyber knife therapy to my liver cancer. One week later, I developed swollen lymph nodes in my neck, which turned out to be stage four metastatic uvula cancer. As a result, weeks later, I had started a combined regimen of radiation therapy every day and chemotherapy for a long, grueling seven weeks. Once again, I reached out to Believe Big and Ivelisse and got the support I needed from Believe Big. 
They can connect me with a facility where I could receive IV vitamin C and IV mistletoe. And they also very generously offered me a grant to help pay for it. I know these therapies helped me endure the rigors of my chemo and radiation by boosting my immune system. What I most love about Believe Big is they genuinely care about helping cancer patients in every way. Their referrals to the valuable information and resources they provide are so empowering, especially when feeling so powerless after a cancer diagnosis. Their support inspired and motivated me. It gave me hope, a belief, and an expectation that I could overcome these cancers. Contributing to Believe Big is an opportunity for you to enable them to provide the same hope for other cancer patients. As a result of the valuable support of Believe Big, my loving family and friends, my incredible team of doctors and nurses, and the grace of God, I am now over six months cancer-free. Thank you. Hearing stories of hope like Terry's is always one of my favorite parts of the evening. To see a life changed due to the help of those that support Believe Big and our amazing staff is so life-giving to me. And that's why uh, we have a great opportunity tonight for all of us to help Believe Big keep changing lives by giving of our financial resources. We have two simple fundraising goals for tonight. The first one is to raise 250,000. And our second goal is to add 100 new monthly partners. We would love to use the resources raised for the following key initiatives. $80,000 will be applied toward wellness grants, which gives patients and their families access to critical alternative screenings. We'd like to be able to paint 2,000 Believe mugs, to do two pediatric adult mug paintings, to do six wellness webinars, which prevents cancer, plus fund phase two of the mistletoe clinical trial, and also develop the resources for the Believe Big Institute of Health. I want to share with you the total reach and impact of Believe Big this year. Our total impact towards cancer fighters, family members, physicians, that we have impacted in the last year has been incredible. We've gone from 43,000 individuals impacted in 2015 to over 170,000 this past year. Well, here's how your donations can make a difference. For a gift of $100, we can provide seven pediatric cancer patients the ability to paint and receive a Believe mug during treatment. For $250, we can provide a mistletoe or nutritional grant to a patient in need. For $500, we can provide an IV mistletoe grant to a patient so they receive the treatment that they need. $1,000 delivers 10 packages of hope during the holidays to patient families who have lost a loved one. $5,000 funds a part-time patient advocate who gives great advice and direction to those who need it. Well, we've created a very simple way for you to contribute tonight virtually. And if you're not watching on your phone, I want you to please join me in picking up your phone. That's right, pull out your cell phone. I'm gonna give you a second to grab that. This is gonna be the simplest way you've ever given any money to any charity. Now I want you to open a new text message to the number 80888. That's open up a new text message to the number 80888. And in the message box, I want you to type in the word believe. Now I'm gonna spell that for you. That's B-E-L-I-E-V-E. -E -E. It can be all lowercase or uppercase. It's not case sensitive, so don't worry. So once you've typed in believe to 80888, I want you to hit send. So again, that's text believe to 80888 and hit send. Now when you do that, you'll receive a text message back. Now go ahead and click on that link on the text to be taken to a safe and secure donation page where you can complete your donation. You'll also see throughout the page and right next to the live stream event, the video, you'll see a yellow donate button. So if that's easier on your computer screen, go ahead and click there and you can donate right from your, right from your screen. Thank you all for your generosity and support. Your giving gives us all we need to reach patients and their families. Yeah, thank you so much. Mm -hmm. And we are so grateful. Uh, we couldn't think of a better way to close out our evening mm -hmm. uh, than to end the live stream with a special guest who newly released their song, The Blessing. Mm -hmm. Carrie Job and Cody Carnes, 
They were so excited to give us the permission to share their new song that they actually recorded live from their home. So gather your family, close your eyes, and let the word speak life and peace into your hearts. Thank you for joining us for this event and for your faithfulness to support the work we're doing at Believe Big. Good night, Good night everyone. everyone. Lord bless you and keep you. Make his face shine upon you and be gracious to you. The Lord turn his face toward you and give you peace.
your family and your children and their children and their children may his presence go before you and behind you and beside you all around you and within you he is with you he is with you in the morning in the evening in your car See